Hi, fire sign. Okay, we're doing your May 28th, 2018, your daily reading. Yes, I'm standing up today. I just feel like standing up, okay? Tired of sitting down, shit. All right, so let's see what's popping for my fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Let's see what's popping. I'm going to be putting something new in the description box for you guys. It's called the Mayan Majestic, Mayan Magic, or whatever the hell it's called. Um, but it's going to be giving, what it does is it gives you the harmonic tone for each day. So what you're going to do, wake up in the morning, look for the tone. I think today's tone is 11 resolution. So this means uh, handling unfinished business, resolving problems, okay? So you can look for the tone for each day and you can know how to be in harmony with the universe, okay? Being harmony with the energy so you can use them, okay? You got to work with the tide, not against the tide, okay? So that's going to be in the description box. All right, let's get it popping. Let's see what's going on with you guys for today. Let's see what you're going to be working with. All right. I'm going to be using a new deck starting tomorrow. Okay, so just brace yourself for that. All right. Let's see what's popping. Okay. One more shuffle. Okay. Card should be ready here. Okay, you have the energy of the Page of Swords. Okay, initiating conversation. Also, too, this is someone is spying on you. You're spying on someone. Okay, um, but you could be dealing with, too, a younger uh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, individual. This could also be your child. But you're gathering information here. You're spying. All right, or you're initiating conversation. This is small talk. Hi, how you doing? You know, shit like that. All right, good shit. You have the energy of the fool in reverse. You are afraid of the unknown. Afraid of what might happen. You're not willing to take a leap of faith. You have no faith in yourself or the other person. Or you have no faith in the situation, okay? Maybe you're maybe you're wanting to start small talk, but you don't have faith. that they're, Maybe you're like, they're not going to respond to me. I don't want to put myself out there like that. If they reject me, I'm going to be rejected, okay? That means I lose. You know, that ego shit, that pride shit, okay? But instead of talking to them, you just spy on them. You just watch them, okay? You're just, you're spying because you're afraid if you talk to them, they're not going to talk back or you're going to get, you know, just, you know, pride, basically. You have the energy of the world card in reverse. Okay, so somebody here needs closure desperately, all right? This too is a situation, like, I feel like, okay, with the world card here in reverse, this, this could mean a lack of closure, you need to talk to somebody so you can so you can close the cycle. As long as you as long as you keep spying and not talking, the cycle the door stays open. Okay, and if this this is how it works. If you don't close a karmic cycle in this life, you're gonna meet that person again in the next life. So just close the shit. Close the fucking door. Say hello. Say hi. Or say look. Hi, I'm over you. Bye. Just close the shit. Stop being fucking afraid to, to speak up to people. Just say the shit. Damn. Like, you you, you watching this person so heavy. You spying on them like a motherfucker. You spying, 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 spying. But you afraid to speak up. Why? For what? Like, my thing is my thing is this. It's so crazy that pride is weak. Pride is really weakness because you have too much pride to speak up. But you don't have enough. You don't you know. You have too much pride to talk to them. But you don't have enough pride to talk to them. Like I don't get it. It's like if you if you so high and mighty, say hi. You 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 so weak you can't even say hello to somebody. That don't make no sense to me. Like pride is a pride is such an, a fucking illusion. Like pride is weakness because your pride is keeping you from saying hi to somebody. Would you rather just spy on them? What type of shit is that? This could go both ways. Somebody's scary as hell. But the the thing is. You keeping a cycle open. It's gonna it's gonna keep coming back. You're gonna keep you need closure. Close the fucking cycle so you can move on with your damn life. It's just like, okay, but anyways, it's also a saying too. The way you thought something was gonna work out is not gonna work out. It's not in a negative way, but it's gonna be like this is like a, a shift in fortune, a shift in shit, okay? A, a shift in a karmic cycle. But a karmic cycle is needing to come to an end, but somebody's not doing that because they're not speaking to somebody. They're just spying on them. Because somebody's afraid to take a leap of faith. They're afraid of what might happen. They're afraid of the unknown. Like I said, the full card is somebody with two balls and a cane. That's your dick and your balls. Somebody don't have balls. Somebody don't have the courage to even say hi to somebody. That don't make no damn sense. But as long as you hold off, as long as you don't speak to them, you're gonna the cycle is open, the door is open. And you're gonna just in the next life, you're gonna meet that person again because you're not closing the cycle. You'd rather just spy on this person. I don't get that shit. That makes no sense to me. 
This is also to the World Wide Web. This is this is pretty cut, cut and dry here. This reading. Somebody is fucking spying on somebody with the with the Page of Swords here. We have the Moon card. Yeah. So two things, ladies. Oh, you know what I'm hearing? Somebody missed their period and they're afraid to tell somebody. I'm hearing that. And I'm hearing too something about the full moon. Like somebody's waiting for the full moon to speak to somebody or waiting for a new moon to speak to somebody. Maybe somebody set a full moon intention or a new moon intention that somebody somebody is going to speak to them on that full moon. The full moon is on the, the full moon is on the 29th. I believe that's on is that Monday or Tuesday? But I feel like somebody is waiting on the full moon to speak to somebody. Also, ladies, watch out for your menstrual cycle, okay? The, your menstrual cycle is changing. This is also, too, somebody's waking up early in the morning. You're getting up early in the morning for something, maybe for work. Maybe you, um, you're going to a job where you talk on the phone. But somebody's waking up, somebody is waking up before the sun, okay? Waking up early here. But I feel like somebody here, too, they might have missed their period and they're afraid to tell somebody this shit. Ooh. That's just what I'm hearing, okay? This is one scenario. But I feel like somebody here is waiting for a full moon to speak to somebody, okay? All right, so with the full card in reverse, you have the six of you have this uh the six of wands. You have the support. Okay, but the six of wands in this deck, this is somebody on their high horse, somebody who's self-righteous, someone who's arrogant. Yeah, so like so this some this is somebody who wants you to come to them, praise them, give them attention. But no, this also too is you have spiritual support. You have a support system, you have a support team. So don't be afraid to step out and take a leap of faith because you have support, you have spirit is behind you supporting you. But this is also someone who's very arrogant, someone someone who's on their fucking high horse. You worship me, okay? I'm worth I'm everything. Um but you're afraid to take a leap of faith at the same time. But you have the support that you need. All right, you have spiritual guidance, you have your guides, all right? But somebody is feeling a little self-righteous here, okay? A little arrogant, a lot arrogant, really, shit. On their high horse. Like, how are you going to be arrogant, but you're not confident? That don't make no sense. But we all know that arrogance is really somebody who's very insecure, all right? I'm just saying. Okay, yeah, with the with the world in the reverse, we have the King of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, so somebody here, um, somebody here is scorned. All right, somebody here is very bitter. They're scorned. Okay, a bitch, a bastard, someone who's very argumentative, very aggressive, someone, someone who does not have, someone who lacks common sense. They lack the ability to reason. They have no logical, no logical mind here. Somebody here is arguing with you. Somebody might reach out to you. But they're afraid to take a leap of faith with you, so they start an argument because they don't know how to express themselves, all right? That's that bullshit, right? So they might reach out to you, but since they don't know what to say to you, they're lost for words, they might just start a fight. Or they might be like, you know what? Or they might, they might reach out to you and say, look, I'm cutting you off. Right, okay, but whatever the case may be, the cycle is not closing. It's not over. The cycle is not over. It's not over with. The karmic cycle is still in effect, period. Diet. It don't matter if you argue with this person, cuss them out, be a bitch, be a bastard. The cycle was not over, so you're gonna run, you're gonna be you're gonna run into them again. You're gonna keep running into them until you end the fucking karmic cycle. So don't call somebody up just to argue with them and cuss them out and shit and be resentful for what? That's not going. That's not going. The universe chooses when the cycle ends, so you have to you have to use integrity. You have to use compassion. Do the fucking right thing. If you call somebody up just to cuss them out, that's not gonna end it because you're gonna run into them again or somebody like them with a different fucking face. Period. But I feel like, um, I feel like too, that I'm getting this too. Somebody, somebody is pregnant and they're afraid to tell, somebody missed their period and they're afraid to tell somebody, okay? They're afraid of what somebody might say to them, okay? But you have, the universe, the universe is saying you have our support. Go ahead and say it. It's okay. It's cool. You ain't got to worry about that. You have us. If you don't, if you feel like somebody's not going to support you, we support you. We got your fucking back, all right? I'm getting that too. But yeah, this world card here, somebody needs closure. Either you or the other person. All right. And as long as you hold off and wait, it's not going to close. It's the the cycle's not going to end for you. If you're tired of arguing with this person, are you tired of like not speaking to this person? Speak to them. That's how you close the cycle. But as long as you're just staring at them or watching them or being a damn creep, it ain't going to it's not going to work. The cycle's never going to close if you're doing that shit. Exactly. Your God is is be strong. For real, for real. It says, "You are stronger than you think you are, and your strength assures a happy outcome." Like, 
like I said, this is someone who's very arrogant, but arrogance is insecurity. That's what it is. Somebody is self-righteous here, but they don't have, they don't, they're arrogant, but they don't have the strength to talk to you or vice versa. But the universe is saying, you have, you have our support. Take the leap of faith. Just do the shit. All right. You're stronger than you think you are. And trust me, it's going to be a good outcome. They're saying, and your strength assures a happy outcome. It's going to be a happy outcome if you just be strong about it and speak the hell up. I don't, understand. I don't get the whole not speaking thing. I don't get it. It's like, what is there to be afraid of and saying to say hello to somebody? It says, notice subtle, notice subtle. How do you pronounce that word? Subtle? Notice subtle changes, whatever. It says, color is power. Select the color you don't normally wear and introduce that into your wardrobe. This this changes, they, they, it's, they have a typo here. <laughs> this changes um this changes the energy in your field including your self their sense of self your goal to discover how subtle changes can increase or decrease your comfort level yeah make a small change talk to them stop spying you damn creep the hell you creeper make a change say hi like a post on facebook like a post on instagram do something stop stop being a damn scary ass arrogant person how you gonna be arrogant and scared i don't know Whatever, fire sign. Um, I hope this helps you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, okay? Thank you.